Okay, hey guys, um, I know I haven't, I've, I keep saying this over and over again, but I know I need to stay updated with my videos and stuff like that. It's just that I've been so busy and I have no idea what to film anymore, but I really do need to get the hang of it again, so I'm going to try my best. Um, but this video is going to have, like, things collabed in it. I'm going to show you a kind of like a collective haul, and... A collective haul, um, just a few January favorites, um, and then books that I've read for the past weeks. Um, so, so to start off with the collective haul, um, I've been obsessed <laughs> with Marilyn Monroe lately, and I got I, like a, three or four shirts from her. So um, the first one I got, like I get most of mine from Walmart. So. Um, this one right here I got at Walmart, of course, like I just said. Um, it has Marilyn Monroe on the front, of course, with like this film kind of thing on it. Um, it's long sleeved and it's cropped at the bottom. Um, it's just really comfy and I really love it. I've worn it a lot since I got it, so I've gotten some use out of that. Um, this next shirt does not like to stay on the hanger, so. We're just going to take it off the hanger. But this next shirt, um, my friend Sarah, who is probably going to be watching this video, so hey Sarah and Ashna, because I know you're staying with her, so hey Ashna. Um, but my, my friend Sarah got me this neck shirt from Ross because she was shopping for um, this uh, dress for the dance that our school was having. Um, but it just looks like this. Um, it's really sheer. As you can tell, um, of course, a couple kissing in the rain is like my favorite thing, so of course. And then um, it kind of has this high-low hem at the bottom, so of course that makes it more flattering, which I love. I don't remember the price of it, but um, I know it was really inexpensive because it was Ross, so you gotta know it was inexpensive. Um, this next shirt that I got my mom got me for, got for me because she went to the store by herself to Walmart so she got me this other Marilyn Monroe shirt it just says Marilyn, Marilyn Love with the gold heart of course um, I've worn it a lot like I've worn the cropped one a lot <laughs> so I just love my t-shirts I cannot get enough of my t-shirts um, and then today me and my aunt went to the store to Walmart to hang out because we, we barely ever hang out together because she's busy and then I'm busy so we decided to hang out today so I got this shirt it was only two dollars at Walmart it says I heart superheroes and I really do love my superheroes so that's what this one looks like I was just not wearing it but I had to change it so I can show it to you in this haul um but it's just really comfy and I like the color of it and stuff so Two dollars, you cannot beat that. And then this next shirt that I got is probably by far my favorite, besides my Marilyn Monroe ones, of course. But um, this was only five dollars. Um, it just looks like this. It's a pretty blue. Of course, I love blue. And then on the back, it looks like this. It has the lace on the um, tank top part. And um, it has cutouts, and it's just really pretty, and I cannot wait to wear this a lot, so, yeah. Um, and then, for a few of my January favorites, um, my favorite straightener of this month, if you watched my birthday haul, then you know what this one is. Um, it's my Remington straightener. It has a thick barrel, because my hair is too thick. For just a plain old thin straightener, I cannot use those. So I got this one for my birthday. So thank you, Mom. So I'm very thankful for that. So I recommend this one if you have thick hair. Um, the lotion I've been using lately, um, if you watched my Christmas haul, then you know what this one is. But um, I've used it a lot. I keep it by the computer, so if I'm going to go head out the door before I you know, leave or whatever, I put it on. It smells wonderful, so I recommend going to Bath and Body Works. So, yeah. And then for makeup products, I've really been loving 
uh, like certain products so if you guys know if you have me on Facebook then you know that I dropped pretty much all of my makeup in the toilet it was a tragic to me because I'm you know a makeup kind of person so but most of it was saved so I'm thankful for that <laughs> but I broke my powder so I had to get a new powder but um I got the same one I had before the stay matte um, long lasting press powder it's a really good powder um of course I got the lightest color because I'm like a freaking ghost but um it's a good powder I really do recommend it um it's inexpensive of course I got it at Walmart so you can't get no better than that and then I don't really wear liquid eyeliner that much but I've gotten to where I wear it more now because I don't like wearing it on my waterline because it just pretty much comes off so I've been wearing um, this Maybelline Master Duo by Eye Studio. It's a really good liquid eyeliner. I, I do recommend it because the good thing about this is is that it has a ball at the end so you can make it thin or thick. So that's a really good thing if you want to have more of a cat eye and more dangerous look. I recommend this one. Definitely. Um, and then my favorite mascara is the Colossal Cat Eyes. Um, it just looks like this, really cool bottle, and then the the brush looks like this, really cool. I love it, it makes my eyelashes look so full and so thick, so I really do like that. Um, I'm not really going to like get into the books that I've, I've, I've read, and, and at, like now reading, so, but I've read these two, these two books in my hand. I read them both in like this one one week. Um, the first one is called Through to You. It's mainly about this guy, his girlfriend dies in a car accident. He goes to a virtual world so he can see her. And I mean, I would like to be able to do that, of course. I mean, who wouldn't? So I read that one. And then this one is called Bad Hair Day. Um, it was mainly about this girl who can like freaking heal people, I guess. She made like this antivirus thing to where you won't turn into a zombie or something like that. It's a really good book though. I'm not very much into action stuff like that, but I do love my zombies, my vampires, and my werewolves. So can't get enough of that. Um, and then the books that I'm gonna be reading now, <laughs> I have um, I have this one that's called Wherever You Go. I haven't read much of it. I'm only on page 86, but so far it's really good. Um, her boyfriend died, I think, I think in a car accident again. And surprisingly, the girl's name in here is Holly. And then in one of the books that I was reading last week, her name was Holly. So it's kind of a coincidence. But I will tell you guys how it is when I'm done reading it. And then... <laughs> And then this one is called The Infects. I really haven't read it yet, but I picked it up because it sounds really, really good. Um, I can't tell you what it mainly is right now because I haven't read it. So when I do read it, I will be sure to tell you guys in a separate video. But if you guys want me to do like a, like a whole separate segment on books that I've gotten, then tell me like a name that you want me to call it and whatever and I'll be sure to do it and try to keep updated with you guys and I'm really really sorry that I haven't been posting videos but I will be sure to keep updated with you guys and if there's any more news I'll be sure to film a quick video for you guys so I will see you guys later.